Good morning. Good morning. That just popped out. I'm not even ready. Eight a coin working together. Another eight right underneath that one. So let's see what we got. So happy Saturday. Let's do Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Just, just playing. Not going to be for a week, but you never know. You never know. But let's do for today, okay? Today, tomorrow. Mm. All right. All right. It's Saturday morning. And make coffee with you guys. What are we looking at? Ace of Cups. There we go with that. My crystal shaking. Okay. I don't know if that's like, hey, tower moment, an awakening. This Ace of Cups is always so hard for me to read because it's like, It's more or less taking care of yourself, okay? Um, making sure you're doing okay. Making sure, making sure you're grounded. Making sure, I feel like this is like way too many. Making sure you're grounded. Definitely taking care of yourself. Okay. Eight of Wands. So... You're going to get a message. I don't know if you're sending them off to the ethers. Um, number nine. Together, it's nine. These nines are sticking out. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like you're going to send a message. Or the other person, someone's sending a message. But it's, it's very, um, I don't know. I can't tell with the energy. It's not like, it's not hyper. It's, you know. It's the star card. So it's like, where is, um, hold up. It just came across something. Where did it go? It's making me think of something. Yeah. All right. The universe sings an eternal song and hope that beauty will listen and find its own its own happy place within the ethers. So. This is tough. I don't see like happy-go-lucky energy here in any of these. Is what you know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm sure it's just the deck. I mean, it's like the universe is singing songs of hope and beauty in hopes that you're listening to find like a happy place. You know, so it's like. This is like a message. So it's either the universe giving you a message or somebody else bringing in a message. And it's like, can you find peace with what is going to be talked about? Um, one more. It's a two of pens. It's, it's juggling. Um, 
Somebody's thinking about somebody with the song on. It's just, it's Fantasy Girl, but it brought me right to it. Fantasy Girl. But this is the one where a head's not even attached. So it's like, tell me about the Tool of Pets. Ten of Wands, just a lot of, here we go with these veggies. <laughs> But this is a lot of a lot of weight, a lot of responsibility, things all up in the air. It, it's like it's like a jungle gym. Your brain is like a jungle gym right now. Trying to figure out what's next. There's that freaking crystal again. I don't know, I feel like some of you are gonna have a like a tower moment. But just like just an that's too many. Just an awakening. Okay, well that one really wants to come out. <clears throat> It's the Four of Swords trying to, you know, not necessarily heal from a situation, but just really trying to figure out what's next. Tell me about... Tell me about the Eight of Wands. I feel like with this card, someone's definitely the Four of Swords. I feel like someone's definitely worried. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. And it's almost like the same person. It's the same two heads. So nine of swords, worried, frightened. <clears throat> Apprehensive. <clears throat> Talk about the ace of cups. This is fear, fear of sending a message. The ace of cups, this is the, the knight of swords. So this is a message definitely coming in, okay? Um, and not really knowing how to balance out the scales here. This worry is not good. Tell me about the four, four of swords. It's not like, um, not like, oh, it's not good like that. It's just, it's frightening energy. It's the knight of pence. So I... I don't know if it's two different energies. All right, but now it's all right here. This It's a message coming in, okay? It's, you're all up in your head about it, or vice versa. I don't know, tell me about the star. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarian or if you're dealing with the just the destiny. Very apprehensive energy. Um, this is fast. It's just kind of harsh messaging. It's just not, it's, it's almost like it's going to be like a last minute decision type thing. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of like, I can't, it's, it's going to have to be a last minute thing, guys. Because the, the way this is sitting and being presented the more you think about it, the more you drive yourself nuts. And it's the Six of Wands, okay? So whatever this is, is going to be triumphant. Like, it, it's, so it, it's destiny, okay? It's going to be good news going forward. Job well done. Um, uh, like, a, like a, a small victory, but something to be proud of, okay? Is it going to... When it's all said and done, if this is a conversation, it's still going to be not iffy, because I'm sure you guys will talk, but kind of like, just it's just going to be scrambled for a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, it's just going to be a, a scramble, a big scrambled egg for a little while. Um... 
So the way that, that this is looking, this person that wants to message somebody is nervous. Too much overthinking. This is, well, I can't say it's too much overthinking per se. It's definitely, there's some anxiety here about sending this message, unblocking somebody, sending a message. This could be you were blocked and now they're going to unblock you. Worry. Tell me about this nine. Nine of Swords. This is this nine of swords is really apprehensive. This is a big move for somebody. This is like this is like the two of swords. So it, it's a decision, but like this is a a big decision when it comes to the two of cups. Okay, because look at look at the little kids sitting there. This is like fetal position. Nervous, a little nervous, apprehensive, especially if somebody was blocked. This is making a decision, you know, but it's like walking a fine line. So this person that needs to reach out to somebody or you, if you're about to reach out with somebody, it's, it's, you're walking a fine line. It's. It's 50-50, but in this person's head, it's the odds are probably less. Because this is a this is a fine line. Like this, somebody's really being careful on how something's being presented. But in all reality, in all retrospect, from what I'm getting from like destiny and like moving forward, you know, it, it's don't overthink this too much because it's gonna be good, even though it's this chaos here. When it comes to the Two of Cups, even though it's, the, it's chaos, you guys will figure it out. You know what I mean, Jelly Beans? Um, I'm gonna throw you a House of the. I'm gonna throw you a Wisdom card. This is taking a leap of faith. This is look at how like I'm banging the table and my crystal's not doing anything now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I definitely feel like that crystal had a message for somebody. It's like an awakening, a tower moment. Um, it, it's you know best best advice card. I'm not ready. Best advice card for the situation, please. And I feel like... I feel like... I feel like it's bothersome with that energy. There's that warrior energy with my video I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? It's that two going down the path, being a warrior. This is like that read for the warrior. All right. That available is still, that video is still available to purchase, guys. And it will actually break this down for you in a different way. But it's individuality. Okay. So let's see. Not two snowflakes can ever be the same. You are just and special and unique too. This is something to celebrate. I have marked a young Van Prix with the way of a unique setting her apart from all others. Choosing her symbol is important because it reminds you to reflect on your unique qualities yourself. It also reminds you not to compare yourself to others. This is a fruit or exercise because not one is the same. No beauty is lesser or greater or one's life is better or less. Others may see happy doing certain things. Or, uh, others may seem happy doing certain things a certain way. Oh, you might feel like you're compromising yourself to fit in, but don't. People will love you for who you are and not who you're trying to be. Your task here is only to be yourself. This is a powerful sign. So it, it's basically definitely 
be yourself. I don't see anybody wearing a mask. I don't see anybody putting on a persona. I just, I just feel like this is heavy energy. This one particular card reminds me of like, this is me before I make a decision, basically saying like, you know, when you have those moments where it's like, it's not like a schizophrenia, phrenic. it's like, you want to be in the arms of a loved one, a guardian, someone, because this is, this is your, you're scared and, and seeing Peter Rabbit, you know, a, a bunny, something to cuddle. It's not the other person. It's just that one person to talk to, to hold, tell them everything's going to be okay type energy. You know, it is, it's tough. It's tough for this person. But this person needs to be a warrior or you need to be a warrior, whomever. I think the two of you need to be a warrior and the two of you are different. So whatever you do, do not compare because not one is better than the other. How many times do I, I say that myself, you know, because it's true. This is, this is warrior energy. This is being courageous. This is unblocking, putting effort in, you know, it's like the divine keeps telling somebody, it keeps telling a certain group that it's all good, but it's one of those things where, I wonder if I take you home, will you tell me I love you? Because I need you tonight. Uh-oh. But like, any who's I feel like it's, it's like the divine shouldn't have to keep telling, it doesn't matter how many times the divine says that this situation can pan out. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of weight. You're going to be juggling things, okay? But that's, that's everyday, that's everyday juggle, okay? That's not juggling two different people or five different people. It's just every day, okay? But like... It's things. I don't know if someone's ego is going to be a little bruised, but like, it's like the divine is just kind of like reassuring, but it doesn't matter how much the divine reassures in this situation because it's, it's a tough situation. It is because it looks like somebody is blocked and somebody has to unblock. Somebody turned a blind eye because there's no eyes in this. None of them have the same this eye only has one. This one's being hidden. It's like by animals. You know what I mean? Like somebody turned a blind eye to something and it's almost like, I don't know if they had an awakening or not, but this is kind of like, I feel like somebody was blocked and it's going to take somebody, you know, effort. Like somebody has to put effort in to literally unblock somebody. Like that's how much thought is being put into this. Like it's literally not a struggle, but like a struggle, but a different kind of struggle. I'm sure you guys get what I'm trying to say. And for those that don't, then you don't know court well enough yet. So, but this person's walking a fine line. This is not an easy scenario for this person. But there's feelings, you know, but it looks like there's definitely a message coming in. Remember to just be yourself, the true you. You know, people are going to love you for who you are, vice versa. No matter who this is, it's it's warrior status again. Being that warrior, getting on a path and going. Um, I do want to clarify my crystal, and I never do that. But to me, that's like it was it was teetering. That's that's a an awakening. That's that's an epiphany. That this is. Either somebody's expecting this and it doesn't happen and that's going to be your tower moment, kind of like telling you, all right, you're going in a different direction. Or your tower moment is this message coming in. It can literally go either way. Tell me about my crystal. Tell me about my crystal, please. <clears throat> it's the king of water. The nine of water at the bottom of the deck. Your wishes can come true. Concerns will fade away. It's the start of a new love life. The king of water. Trustworthy, compassionate, respectful, cultured. Open up your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Okay, so it's kind of like... Make sure you're going in with that type of energy too. If this is one of those type of towel moments. But this is the best advice and, and wishes at the bottom. So here's the thing is, it's like, there's a lot of love here and the two of cups was here. So it's like, they both love each other. But I think there's been silence for so long. 
somebody turns a blind eye. Like, this is walking a thin line. Like, this is somebody who's just using their head. Not only, so, yeah, is there anxiety and, and stuff like this, but it's a major decision. It's not, it's not easy. Somebody's legitimately walking a fine line. This is a major decision. Okay. Just remember to be the true you, so don't go in and try to be somebody else or vice versa, please. Warrior status, not let's be an ass. This is, you know, be rough, be not rough, but like strong, but not, not like, you got to let your guard down, you know, um, let me read what this warrior is all about. This is that iffy tower moment with this warrior. Whatever you experience right now will be well if your question is regarding love. This card represents someone who is deeply committed, protected, and kind to you. Friendships and love are sacred. And these qualities are important for a relationship to grow. If the person does not have these qualities, then move on. Therefore, I will send you a true warrior spirit instead. Remember, life is about learning and disconcerting who is true. There is another message here to consider too. Do you embody these qualities yourself? Now is a good time to think about how committed you are. So this has been plenty of time already thinking you're committed because it's stressing that you guys are different. But it's okay. Make sure you're speaking from your heart, your soul, your you. Don't wear a mask. But don't, you got to be able to put your guard down too. Okay? So if you're waiting on somebody and that somebody doesn't come in, that is that tower moment because this person couldn't do it and they're going to send you somebody who can be, can, that can have that. To me, it's not even being weak. Well, I don't know necessarily, but it's that courageous energy. So if somebody can't do that, then they're going to send you somebody that can. Okay, so either way, you're going to either get a message today or this person won't come in. Not for everybody, guys, okay? But they will send you somebody eventually. It's like, and then what if this person gets courageous? Then all of a sudden, you know, there you go. Then you got those two people again, you know. But regardless, I'm not I'm not looking at it like that. I just felt the need to say that because it's been on the board. But in all retrospect, this is somebody coming in with a message and the two of you trying to figure it out. And it holds a lot of responsibility. But just remember to be yourself, is the, you know, just be yourself. This is a tough scenario, so. But this person, the way this decision stands, I don't, I don't see this person being a coward. Not when they're, not when they're considering that type of fine line. Nerves, yeah. Coward, no. This person is a warrior. And yeah, you guys are different. But be true to you. Don't go in wearing a mask or vice versa. All right. I love you guys so much. Have a fantastic day. See you manana.